Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on one possible solution for the HTC Sensation crash problem. Now this is a particular crash problem that causes the phone to inadvertently switch itself off. This will often happen when you start an app and it's not prejudiced to any app, it seems to happen to any of them. Uh, personally it's happened to me when I've used Facebook, YouTube, when I've used the camera function on the phone. Also, when I've made a call or just finished a call, the phone will just switch itself off. It becomes even more annoying when you go to reboot the phone and it will crash again mid-boot. And this is a problem that's been plaguing a lot of HTC Sensation users. And so I Googled the issue and recently found a solution. And I'm gonna demonstrate that solution with you now. So what you want to do, you want to start off by switching the phone off. And this is because we are going to be removing the battery, which gives maybe some clue on to what's causing the problem. But I haven't figured it out, and I haven't read anywhere or anyone who has figured it out yet. But I'm guessing it's something to do with the power issue. Right now, so the phone's switched off. What we're going to do, we're going to take the back off. I'm pressing down this little clip just on the base of the phone, pulling the screen out. Put the case to one side. Now, the battery sits in this little square area here. Take the battery out, and you can see where the connectors are just here. I hope the camera picks that up, and where that meets on the base of the battery. And what we're going to do is we're gonna cut out a little piece of, a little strip of plastic from say a loyalty card, one that you don't use anymore, about that size. Some people said it looks like a cut SIM card in half. Yeah, okay, that's, if you wanna do that, that, that would work as well. And we're gonna put it against the top right hand corner of the battery. So if we were to look at the battery like this, the bronze or copper connectors around here at the base. We're gonna put the bit of plastic at the top and we're gonna slot that right back in. Now this is the fiddly bit because as you can imagine, the HTC was fairly well designed except when they didn't notice this problem. <laughs> but it wasn't designed to have another wedge of plastic shoved in the top of it next to the battery. But you can see how I've put that in there, the white line being that little wedge of plastic. There is an issue here. I've actually already done this and had this going for about two weeks now and not had a single crash and that shows that it's, it's working pretty well. But obviously to do this demonstration I had to get it out and that was a struggle because you're blocking the bit where your finger would go. I found shoving some tweezers in, a little, just a little wedge of metal just to flick it back up and solve the problem. And now what we're going to do is put the base back on, seal my lovely fingerprints, boot the phone back up. And that should pretty much solve the problem. Like I say, I've been using the phone for about two weeks now and not had it crash on me, which is nice. <clears throat> you know, putting the prejudices aside, you know, we're all, we're all fans of different phones and models and makes. But this is genuinely a good phone. I, I really like it. It's got good functionality. I think Android's great. I think the camera on it's really good. Okay, it could do with a bit of image stabilization. I think you know Apple have really hit the nail on the head with that one, but it works. Um, makes calls really well. I've never had it drop out. I always get good signal. Obviously, that's partly down to the network you go with. And I really haven't had a problem. It's probably one of the most versatile of the Android phones. It hasn't been updated to the most recent Android OS, but it's it was one of the first to get uh, ice cream sandwich which was great, which was a huge update, you know. And it really is a great phone, and I think, you know, just that little problem, I was so close to getting rid of this phone and swapping it for something like a Galaxy S3. But when I found the solution, I've, I've just found a new love for this phone. It does everything I want it to do, and I'm really happy with it. So I hope this video tutorial helps you solve your HTC crash problem. I, I can't take responsibility for finding this fix. I found this on the internet. 
but I'm just showing you now this is uh, how I implemented it and it really works. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope this helps. Goodbye.